What's going on guys, this is me Ying and welcome back again to my channel guys and today I'm going to make this video for you guys especially for our viewers here. Now our viewers has a special concern here that the viewer has lost the battery case of the Halo GT1 and the question is can we use the Halo GT1 earbuds charge into the battery case of the Halo GT2S, okay? Now here, I'm actually a graduate of electronics engineer and today I'm going to explain to you why can we use the Halo GT1 earbuds charge into the Halo GT2S, okay guys? So before I start this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys, please subscribe now and we're going to start this video guys, okay? So here we go guys. Now first of all, all these concepts are taken from the Ohm's law. Now if you are a study in the electrical or electronics, some basic concepts about electronics guys yes guys it's all about ohm's law guys where i is equivalent to the v which is the voltage over the r which is the resistance okay so everything is dependent with the i which is the current flow now the i is actually the unit of i is ampere or milliampere if you try to make it into a smaller pieces okay so as you can see we cannot see electricity with our naked eye so all we need to do is just to calculate or measure it with a tester okay and next is where i which is the current is equivalent to the v which is the voltage and across the conductor which is the resistance now the resistance unit is the ohms all right guys it's it's kind of a bit difficult to understand guys but right now I'm going to try to explain to you the current flow of the earbuds here okay so here I'm holding right now the battery case of the Halo GT2S okay now most of the battery case here from the Halo brand are actually receiving of the current from the AC source around 500 milliamperes guys now 500 milliamp seems to be a lot now here I'm going to show you guys a picture here where the current flow from the AC source going to the battery case okay so here for example if I have taken this from the AC source now this is the battery case it goes the 500 milliampere will passes through the battery case now the battery case will now try to convert to lower current. So the lower current will be around 150 milliampere. Now our battery case is actually giving an output current of 150 milliamperes and then your earbuds is actually accepting around 100 milliamperes. Now how did a 150 milliamperes accepting to a 100 milliampere current okay so guys it's just only a little difference so it's fine and it will not going to destroy your earbuds if there is 150 milliamperes going to an input of the earbuds of 100 milliamperes so the output must be higher so that um, it will actually accept the load of the current okay so but not too high it's because uh, there's actually a resistance that it can stop the current all right guys so here um let me try to show you guys okay all right guys so here uh in front of me are actually the earbuds with the battery case here here the gt1 xr the gt1 pro gt1 plus the gt1 and also the gt2s okay guys so as you can see here i'm trying to hold the uh, earbuds of the gt1 now can we put it into the gt2s okay so let's try to remove the earbuds of the gt2s here on the side and let's try to put it inside the battery case of the gt2s and as you can see it's charging very well okay so it's accepting the current no problem with that okay so besides of the um, gt1 you can also charge the xr it's because it's having the output, uh, the battery case is having the output of 150 milliampere. So as you can see, both are charging well. Okay, let's try to put it back. And also other of the earbuds here, which is the GT1 Pro. Okay, so let me see. Yes, it's charging both of them. It's having a red light of a steady red light. And also the GT1 Plus. Okay, so here we go. So there you go, guys. So as you can see, it's charging there and there will be no worry about it it will not explode it's because it's also accepting around um, 150 milliamperes from the battery case going to your earbuds guys okay understand this concept guys it's because it's a very very basic concept and i hope you guys learn in this video all right 
So a simple reminder guys, please don't use a quick charge which is a higher current. So if our battery case will have an output current only of 150 milliamperes, that's only the accepted range, maximum range, okay guys? So don't go directly for a 500 milliampere because it will destroy your earbuds guys, alright guys? Okay, I know these are actually budget earbuds but if you value your things, you can save a lot of money and value your stuff guys and if you like this video click the like button and also if you have some disagreement just comment below guys and we'll try to talk about it all right so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe now and see you in my next video guys okay bye bye